You know what? Um, just on this topic, my cousin was explaining to me the psychological aspect of you know cancel culture, and she was saying that cancel culture exists with women and gays, but men don't really have this cancel culture. And I was like, really? Why? And then she was explaining because women and gays they don't they aren't necessarily on the top of the food chain and so they feel that if they cancel someone it brings more room for them i don't know do you believe in it it's it's a very simplified no because you say that i do believe it yeah and i think you're going to get canceled for saying that <laughs> no it's kidding. more of like understanding the psychology I and mean, when you think about people who do cancel other people it's a lot of women and gays from my anecdotal experience when i was getting canceled yeah. they were all women and gays so actually that you say that yeah but, but and it was all on it was only on twitter though i've never been canceled on other platforms i've only yeah. been canceled on twitter which i don't even have yeah anymore because i just realized oh, this, there's nothing healthy about this you know <laughs> but yeah no that's that's true it, it's, it's, it makes sense it's about people who are feel oppressed you know and, and they want more power they want a voice their their intent might be good yeah but their execution is just horrible that's, you, do that's you what it is participate in cancel culture i know i'm i am like a cancel culture vigilante so my default is always to go on the other side because I'm so empathetic and compassionate to people yeah. who are getting canceled because I've been there. Yeah. And there's only a very, very, sm less than 1% of the population has ever been canceled yeah. or, or felt that. Yeah. I and, know, I agree. I totally agree. And like 90% of the time when someone is getting canceled, it's, it's not just because no one ever waits for information to come out. When people are canceling someone, it's always off of like, one or two or three facts when there's like 20 facts and you have to wait for everything to come out yeah have you ever been canceled oh of course. i'm I've sure you've been, can been canceled with your personality times. with with how authentic you are and straightforward you're definitely going to get canceled yeah i've definitely been canceled a couple of times and that's probably why i try not to participate in it because like you said we've been on that other side of the stick right and it's an awful feeling to feel hated by everyone it's, it's just, just like tough, you, your life it's crumbles. Tough. You feel like the entire world hates it's, you. Even yeah. though it's not true, yeah. you just feel that way. It's tough. But it comes with the territory. I mean, if, if you yeah, have your number... It comes with the job, but it's still not necessary or respectful. And yes, we want to yeah. train and teach people to, to critical think. Yes. Um, and to judge and base off of facts always, right? And to always think of the other side of the story, which people don't do. Mm-hmm on Twitter or social media, at least. <laughs> what have you been canceled for? I was talking about this with some of my friends and they're always like, never bring it back up. Let's just forget about it. That is one solution. Another is, you know, talking about it here. I've been, I've had a couple of scandals, but um, yeah, I've, I've been canceled quite a few times and it's always a learning for me. One key learning was that, I remember it was Mond who said it. He said, you know, if a comedian did what you did, they everybody would probably be laughing but because it's you they don't necessarily know your personality as somebody who's comedic and funny online so that's why it, it could be offensive it was also a self-reflection on who i am and who i am online mm -hmm. i guess no matter how much you try to kind of bridge the gap between both there could be a misunderstanding because people also expect you to be a certain way like, I'm sure when people meet you, they expect you to be super hyper and like, oh, like, oh my God, like entertaining and funny all the time. And you're just like, actually, I just want to chill right now. Does that happen? Yeah, it happened yesterday at an event. The, the cameraman just kept being like, just looking at me and talking to me like, man, it's so different in person. You know, you're just like, yeah, yeah. I wasn't doing anything. I was just at the event, like, you know, yeah. drinking water or like on my phone, like, because I'm thinking of content to create. And he's like, I, I expect you to be like, you know, jumping around and talking more. And I was just like, I'm just working, dude. Like, yeah. You know. So wait, so you sit down and 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 like block off time to create content. If you liked what you saw and you want to listen to the full episode, then download Spotify and follow us at Superhuman with Will Dasovich. It's completely free. It's linked below and easy to use.